Planting a garden in a style that suits your home can not only add street appeal, but a lot of value to your property. Charlie, this is something you know all about. Where do you begin? You need to look at the whole picture and really take a look at your house. You're used to having a look at, uh, look at it every day, so you may not see the problems, but you've got to take a really close look at it, make sure you know all the problems and address every single one of them. So the conifers in the lawn have gone and now I'm mass planting the scavola. You know, with a, a Victorian terrace, for example, a nice formal garden looks good. In a Queenslander, you can go formal, but tropical also looks nice. Um, so really the garden is, is dictated by the, the architecture of the house. How do you go about creating a more formal design? Um, so people always think formal gardens are to do with hedges, but it's actually down to symmetry. So try and replicate symmetry and, and mirror images. Hedges help because they're nice and easy to, to mirror, those, mirror that symmetry. Um, and also uh, the, the quality of the materials you use, for example. If you've got a formal garden, you wouldn't go and use a, a cheap concrete paver. You, know, you might get a, a nice natural stone. Here I've gone for a French grey sandstone in this rather enormous format of 900 by 450. Now this is a natural stone so it's going to make this garden feel really expensive. And what about something that's a little bit more relaxed? Yeah, so relaxed uh, garden, sort of like a, a tropical garden. Uh, you want to be playing with textures more than layouts when it comes to a relaxed garden uh, and really layer those textures as well to get a nice effect. When you put greenery on the walls of a courtyard, it makes the whole space feel bigger. The colour palette is also something that you should consider. It's not just something suited indoors, it's something for the garden yeah, as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, people can see colour and go, oh yeah, and, and stick it all in and it can look horrific at the end. Um, look at the colour of your house, because that plays a big part on the plants you should be using, and the overall feel you want to get in the garden. If you want it to be uh, a great entertaining riot of colour, then, then go for it. But if you want it to be more muted, maybe stick with white flowers, something like that. Uh, and if you introduce other colours, be really careful with the way you do it and the places you put those colours, because they'll impact on the design. For instance, with a small garden bed out the front, say something similar to the space that you've got mm -hmm. here, should you be going for a variety of different plants, or should you stick to, say, you know, a smaller cluster? Well, it's, if you like the plant, and you like your garden, put it in because you're really the only person that's living with it, so you should enjoy it. But if it's for resale and street appeal, uh, for example, this garden bed looks a bit of a mess. The magnolia in the middle is completely lost. I would probably clean that out and maybe underplant with something a bit smaller. Uh, less is definitely more in the front garden, but do what you like in the back. It's also incredibly important to pick plants that are suitable for the climate for where yes. you live. Yeah, uh, so each plant is perfectly suited to where it wants to live and there's no point trying to fight it. Um, so if you pick the right plant for the right spot, it should always succeed. So you need to invest some money as well in the soil, for instance. That's, that's exactly right. People always think it's about the aspect, but think of your soil as a good diet. You know, people fertilise and that's like taking vitamins. Uh, a good diet is improving the soil and that's going to help the plants to, to flourish. So adding lots of compost and organic matter into the soil before planting is definitely something that needs to be done more. And finally, what's your top gardening tip for interiors attic readers? Uh, my number one top gardening tip is don't forget about the plants. The budget is normally spent before it gets to planting, but make sure you save some for those plants because it makes all the difference. <music>